Hey guys, I'm Justin. And I'm Ryan. And we've just seen Glass. Mm -hmm. And we have the ending explained video right here. So check us out. Three, two, one, roll logo. So remember guys, if you can, remember to smash that subscribe button and hit the like if you want to too. But don't forget that pesky, pesky little bell notification because apparently that's the most important thing with... It is uh, very important. I liked it when it was subscribed, but now it's like, oh, hit the bell notification. But the bell notification lets you know... It doesn't have the same know, ring to it, I don't think. That subscribe does. The bell notification doesn't have Zing. the same ring to it. That was, that was a little... Little dad joke, three kids. Yes. I'm allowed to make it. It's my yes, personal hobby. Yes, you are. Uh, so, we're what are we about talking glass. about? What we're are we talking, talking about? Glass. The end of glass. The end of glass. We've all seen it. Have Hopefully, you seen it? you guys have seen it. And this, this is not. spoilers. This is huge spoilers. We're all gonna, of the we're spoilers. Gonna the ending. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen it. Don't be an idiot and watch this. Remember that title that you clicked on? Yeah. It said ending explained, and that's what we're going to do. We are. Right now. So, remember how all three of them die? Oh. I'm starting with that. That still cuts me deep. That still cuts me deep. Look. That ending, I really expected them to come back and they never did, but that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Let's explain what happened with it. Okay, so we have a showdown. We have a showdown, that's, that's what yeah. Mr. Glass actually called it. Yeah. And all three of them, Mr. Glass, David Dunn, who is now called Overseer. The Tiptoes. No, Overseer is yeah, his name. It's way cooler. It's yeah, a, right. so, such a cool name. And The Beast, yeah. or The Horde. Yeah. So The Horde is the, the name that people know of and blah, blah, blah. So anyway. The three of them are actually going to show down, head but they're to going to be going to this building that's yeah. going to be, that's being finished built that's right. because Mr. Glass wants to utilize the capability of everyone's eyes are going to be on this and he just wants everyone to watch it. Can I just quickly say that, Go. you know how Split had that secret ending and you found out that David Dunn was connected to that movie? Yeah. i not going to lie, I was really hoping that secretly this was going to be a Die Hard sequel, and that was going to be the Nakatomi Tower, and it was just going oh to be God. this like twist ending. I was That's... really hoping for it, didn't happen. Yeah. But the ending we got, what happened? Yeah. Well, they they all die. They did all die. But, but, but that wasn't the main point of it. The point no, of no. it was that Mr. Glass was setting up this huge thing behind the behind the scenes, and every scene leading towards it was letting you know the cameras being set up in the, yeah. around the building, um, his ability to be able to read blueprints because uh, earlier in the movie Sarah Paulson said that he had the ability to just look at a blueprint and learn everything about it so he yeah. had the ability to be able to work out he is out a mastermind he is he, he had the ability to work out the behind the scenes of what was going on to be able to set up this massive plan because plans are his thing took down the plane took down the, the train took down the plaza uh, it set a bomb somewhere in the last movie mm. and of course was planning to take out this building yeah but that but was just a ploy that was just a ploy the ploy was to actually, uh, what's the word? I'm trying to think of the word. Trick everyone. Trick everyone. To thinking right. that that yeah. was the plan, but yeah. it wasn't. But it wasn't. So he was basically going to let everyone know because there, there's a, a secret society. Right, right. Yeah. The Shemrocks, I'm calling. The sh they didn't the, get a name. but The Lucky Flowers. The, the, <laughs> the lucky had a shamrock tattoo, so I'm yeah. calling them the shamrocks. Yeah. Um, Which only came up at like, the end like of the, the movie. Should be Do you think it came up earlier? The shamrock? Yeah. I would like to say I would like to say that it's I would come up once. Really like to say it's come up. Yeah. yeah. Definitely gonna have to like rewatch Split because it would have been the most recent movie that he was aware of going, okay, well I'm gonna insert this somewhere. Because somebody has to have had that tattoo. Mm -hmm. Um and basically there's this uh, secret organization that is out to stop all superheroes. superhero characters, whether right. they be good or bad. They just want to wipe them out. So that, that in itself is showing us that this, this movie could actually have prequels we, um, that we could see later on. I mean, it may not, probably won't get a sequel judging the fact that the three main leads are dead. And yeah. judging by that, you've got to assume that if you're making a Spider-Man movie and you kill off Spider-Man, you kill off the Green Goblin and you kill off Doc Ock, you ain't going to make another Spider-Man movie, right? No. So I'm going to say that they're going to go back and they're probably going to make sand. And why am I calling it sand? Because, because sand is what you make glass out of. It is. <laughs> and yeah. that's the only way yeah. that they can call this movie something. Yes. Um, and so that's what I'm thinking. They're, they're going to go maybe a prequel route and they're going to gonna learn about the Shamrock team, I think. Yeah. We, we definitely want more out of that. And it'd be awesome if they had books to, like comic thing to actually read through and, and get more in detail, like how what they're doing with Star Wars yeah. with all the canon expanding. It'd be cool if this universe was able to expand like that. 
spend in the co actual literal comic books. In actual That'd comics. Cool. I've been to About that. the Shamrock um, Lucky Flower team. But the whole, the whole idea for, for Glass's big experiment, big uh, terrorist attack, I guess you would say, is to prove to the world that superheroes were real and that these Shamrock guys weren't going to stop them and he was going to get out through social, social media, through the internet, through messaging, through any kind of form of video mm -hmm. that they could see these security cameras and see that the superhero phenomenon is real. Is actually real because the the whole movie is trying to tell us that it isn't yeah. or that it's scienced down and she was really hoping, Sarah Paulson's character was really hoping that she actually won mm. that argument and actually mm. convinced David that the whole thing was mm. a, a, a fallacy. Yeah, the one thing I didn't like about that is that in the last sequence, you see the three uh, supporting characters mm -hmm. sitting together in a train station. You see David Dunn's kid, yep. Mr. Glass's mum, and the Beast's girlfriend. girlfriend? I'm going to say girlfriend. What is, that it's is such a easiest, weird connection. Yeah, her, uh, it's got his, that Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, where his where, bell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the um, Beast's bell. <gasps> oh, I'm not. Mmm... Maybe he's thinking about that. But anyway... What's her name? Does it start uh, with B? Maybe. Does it but um, the point of Bell that, notification. Have you hit that bell notification? Sorry. He's pulling. He's <laughs> pulling. Um, but my point was that uh, I didn't like that sequence because it really said that Mr. Glass wasn't really that big of a bad guy. I wouldn't be sitting no. with Mr. Glass's mum and be like cheering that, you know, he showed all these things. and be like, dude... Your kid's a terrorist. He's killed yeah. like thousands of people. Lots of bad. I don't bad. really want to sit next to you, especially because she's all like, my old Mr. Glass, you know, yeah. he did such a, such a good oh, job. That Elijah. Yeah, Elijah. What a, what a good boy. What a superb little boy. And also the girl next to him, she's like, well, you know what? He killed Beast. He killed all those people. But what a good guy in the end. Oh, what man. a good guy. No, David Dunn's the good uh, guy. Yeah. He's the one that's helping everybody. And I understand uh, Spencer... Treat, Treat Clark. Clark's point of being excited that his dad's story actually gets to be told as yeah. his dad and not so much as the hooded man. Tiptoes. Tiptoes. I'm never going to get the tip overseer. Toes. The overseer. Yeah. Uh, but that's my. That's what I'm taking from this ending explained. The only thing that I do wish did happen is the the entire movie was actually leading towards showing the world that superpowers exist. So, therefore, showing people and actually uh, making people believe in the, the unbelievable and them having maybe powers of their own. Mm -hmm. I wanted David Dunn's son. You wanted a broom boy. I, you wanted yeah, a broom boy. Yeah, maybe. You wanted a broom boy. I know Honestly, what you wanted. Yeah. I was actually thinking, because the, the very final shot of the film was like they're pulling back at, the, at this train station where the three mm. supporting characters are sitting. Mm. And I was kind of hoping for just a character to fly past. Oh, oh yeah. Which okay. would have been like, <gasps> it's beginning. Always. <laughs> I'm, it's always about somebody who's flying. Um, but that's what, I, that's what I wanted. I wanted either somebody just to randomly mm. fly past in the final the wipe to end the film, yeah. or I wanted um, uh, uh, Spencer's... I wanted him to have electricity powers. I don't know why. Some. I just felt like he needed some powers yeah. of his own. And that, I mean, that, in that connection, I think that's what this whole story is saying, that these three movies, according to Mr. Glass, is an origin story of Earth the world. working that working out that superheroes are real yeah. and that uh, and anybody can stand up and be a superhero not anyone hopefully people that actually have real powers and not just normal people that think they're strong yeah. and then get kicked in the nuts yes <laughs> yeah yes. alright so, so yeah that was the ending unfortunately is there something we missed I, I reckon you let us know in the comments below oh yeah there they are people have started writing yeah. already and until next time I'm Ryan and I'm Justin and that has been your ending explainer and we'll see you nerds at the movies. That's right. Yeah. Yeah.